if I can stay local here to play some hockey. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, this is going to be a really fun time for my family because, you know, we live in Irvine, California, right down the street. So uh, it's pretty exciting and uh, pretty surreal moment right now for me and my family. When you didn't go yesterday out, what was it like those few hours and getting up and coming back to this morning? You know, it's a draft, so I was expecting anything to happen, and uh, for me, it was just uh, you know trying to enjoy the moment with my family. It was stressful. I was sweating a little bit, but uh, uh, you know, I got selected by the Ducks, my hometown team, and it's a great organization, and uh, I'm very excited right now. What was that moment like? You get to hug your sister, you hug your dad, and you talk about it yesterday. What was, yeah. What's that like? Um, it's everything I've dreamt, uh, dreamt for for a long time. You know, I love my sisters, I love my parents. They've done so much for me, and I'm so thankful for everything they've done. So, uh, just sharing this moment with them is pretty, uh, pretty special. Did you have any inclination in Anaheim? Was it just? A uh, you know, they did. They we had a good long meeting at the combine, and we stayed in contact throughout, uh, throughout the days leading up to the draft. And uh, you know, like I said, uh, very happy right now, and uh, couldn't have gone to a better team. You and Emerson Edom go back at all, and how, how is your relationship with him? Yeah, I mean, he's always been a good role, role model for me, and uh, I've seen him uh, in the summer before I came out here, and he's told me good luck, and he's a great guy, and I look forward to going to camp with him and, and uh, you know, hopefully uh, seeing him soon. And uh, it's pretty special for two California guys to uh, be drafted by a hometown team, so uh, it's it's fun time right now. And Miles Coolis could go later today as well. Absolutely. And how, I know you guys are pretty good friends. Yeah. So how great. would you describe that? Oh, great friends. I, I hope the best for him, and, and like I said, California guys, we all love each other. And uh, you know, I hope he gets drafted. And and if he was by the Ducks, that'd be even better. But uh, we'll see what happens. But you're gonna be definitely heading to college next uh, next fall. Yes, I will. I made my commitment. I like to stand by it. Uh, uh, I'm already at Wisconsin right now, taking some summer classes, and uh, go from there. But uh, I'm very excited to be with Mike Eves and the guys over at Wisconsin. What do you feel you have to kind of work on to develop uh, to be ready to go soon? I think I just need to get bigger and stronger. That's the number one thing. Uh, you know, I have a good frame, and now I just got to fill out a little bit more and, and uh, you know, work on my hands, work on my skill work. And I think that uh, with Mike Eves, I'll get all that and, and uh, hopefully make it to the NHL soon. Nick, how did your time with the NTDP help you get to where you're at today? Oh, I give a ton of credit to the National Team Development Program. Uh, you know, they, they're, they've done so much for me. They've given me all the tools I needed to develop. And, and uh, coach like Dan Cole and guys from the top, from Scott Ma Monahan, they gave us all the tools, like I said. And, and uh, if it wasn't for going there, I don't know if I'd be here today. So a lot of credit goes out to the national team development program. Did you go to many Ducks games in 2007 during the cup run at all? I did. I did. I actually went to one of the Stanley Cup final games with one of my buddies, Nick Olson. Uh, he took me out there, and uh, it was fun. It was a lot of fun and great atmosphere. And, and now the Kings winning, too. I think there's more of a rival rivalry between the Ducks and the Kings, and now the Ducks have a, a chance to win next year. And, and you know, hopefully, you know, they kind of beat the Kings in that way. But uh, I got to see the ga games at the Staples Center, uh, Game 6 and Game 3 in the Stanley Cup Final. So, uh, yeah, I think it, it's going to be a good time.